Namaste to all our viewers. My name is Bhavya Sharma and I am reporting live from Gear today. To in today's feature, we bring to you the nation's most anticipated event, Rebound 2021. After weeks of meticulous preparation and planning, the Gear Commerce Committee, GCC, has finally commemorated the three-day commerce fest starting today, 22nd July, 2021. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. The event kick-started with a bang, exhibiting a variety of art forms with students showcasing their talents. This included an elegant and graceful dance performance, an enchanting song cover, and an entertaining and well-executed short film. This ceremony was concluded with heartwarming and encouraging words from the chairman, Dr. M. Shini Vasan. Now, over to Devanshi, who is at the site of the first event. Namaste to all our viewers. I'm Devanshi Agrawal, reporting the events from day one. The first event we have is a assuming arguendo, the avid debate competition. As you can see in our footage, the various teams have set a lively atmosphere with their enthusiastic participation. The finalists for this event were Team 1, Jay Spiti and Prana, speaking for the motion. Should euthanasia be legalized? And Team 2, Midhavi, Siddha and Likita, speaking against the motion. I've got to say, it was truly a remarkable debate, not one you'd like to miss. Breaking through all competition, the opposition team has bagged the winning title. The next event of the day is iPitch, an exciting entrepreneurship challenge. Four teams went head to head, each presenting their creative product ideas, opening the gates of innovation. Team Moma, which had Veda Arvind and Medha Sanjay as the members, broke out victorious amongst all others. After yesterday's mind blowing success, the Commerce Fest is in full swing for day two. Let's head down to Diagon Alley, where Bhava will guide us through the events. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Devanji. The second day started off with a strategic marketing event called Diagon Alley. In this event, the contenders had to advertise and promote the Fire Bowl 2020, which is the broomstick from the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Each team fought vigorously with one another to best promote their ideas and products. Towards the end, the winner's title was awarded to Likita and Amrita as they creatively presented their ideas and appealed to the audience the most. The next event that took place was Quizards of Oz. Let's hear directly from Akhil Bandi, the winner of the event, how it was for him. My name is Akhil Bandi and I finished first in the Quizards of Oz competition. So the competition worked in such a way that there were 24 people before the uh, tournament started. So we had qualifiers and we turned it down to 15 people for the main tournament today. And it ended with three people in um, rapid fire round. Um, it was a very exciting and thrilling competition and we had a lot of fun and I would like to congratulate uh, everyone else who participated. Everyone is a winner. For the final event of the day, we have Devil Wears Prada, an eye-catching and astounding fashion show revolving around the theme Resilience. All contenders put forward very beautiful interpretations of resilience, ranging from how Indian saris are resilient to how resilience can be incorporated into sports. The winner of this event was Akshaya, with Rhea Agarwala and Kirti tying for second place. With this, we put an end to day two. The third and final day of the fence started off with Venture Vultures, an interesting problem-solving event in which participants best try to provide solutions to the business and market-related hurdles. Nippon bagged the winning title, beautifully putting across his ideas. Cubs of the Lal Street was another event that took place where various teams displayed their financial and statistical knowledge to strategically invest in stocks while also creating a detailed portfolio. The first place was rightly shared by two teams, Bhavya and Aishwarya, and Arin and Sani. That's all. Snapomania was the final event of the fest, with participants enthusiastically endorsing various brands through creative ads. 
This brings us to the end of the Grand Rebound Fest 2021. The event indeed was a huge success, beautifully organized and executed. The memorable experience truly gave the participants as well as the spectators a deeper insight into business and marketing. Being one of the first virtual events conducted by Gear, it wonderfully delivered its concepts and ideas in every aspect, keeping everyone hooked till the end. Much for doing that for me. Um, and then when the trial started, we all thought we, we would be able to go back to school, but since that was not possible, and uh, oh, Corona was a very, very sweet person when he said that we would be able to go back to school only for our exams, so that was a great, great thing. Uh, so uh, that happened and then we were all disheartened that we wouldn't be able to go back to school and then uh, Preeti ma'am, Disha ma'am and Smita ma'am came up with this and all of us instantly thought that this was an amazing idea to engage everybody and this way we got closer to our seniors, to our juniors, to our mentors with each other and I think this was the most beautiful part of the whole fest and I'm I'm very very surprised and excited. I was excited. I still am, and I was very very surprised about how much effort everybody had put into this. Thank you to all the judges, teachers, and students who made this possible. On that note, we will take your leave. We thoroughly enjoyed covering this event. Reporting from here today, this is Devanshi Agarwal and Bhavya Sharma. Thank you. For